Today we are going to talk about how this spirit realm operates. Because we must understand this very well. If we understand exactly how the spirit realm operates, it will help our prayer life. It will help us in receiving answer from the Lord. And I find out that nobody don't want to pray. The only thing that frustrates people and frustrates their prayer life is unanswered prayer. Because when a man is praying and having result of his prayer, he will like to pray more. When a man pray fast, he see the result. He will pray and fast more and more. Because everybody likes to do what works. Everybody likes to do something that works, something that yields result. But when people pray and fast and so see, and after everything, with their heart of faith, believing that they will receive the answer or their desired result, they ended up being disappointed at the end. So now these people, now if you tell them to pray, they may not pray again because they are misunderstanding the realm of the spirit. Remember that spiritual control physical. Spirit world control physical world. Everything we are seeing here is controlled by the realm of the spirit. Is controlled in the realm of the spirit. Everything we are seeing here is controlled in the realm of the spirit. Because the spirit realm is the mother of the physical realm. Is the one that gives birth to physical realm. Every activity on earth is controlled by spiritual realm. So that is why every child of God, pay more attention to hear this message. Do me a favor to click the subscribe button and also click to follow button depend the platform you are watching me right now. And also share this message to many people. Forward it to many of your contacts. Give it, share it to your friends in order to help them and to deliver them. And don't forget to drop your comment and like the video. God bless you. So the realm of the spirit is a realm that people are misunderstanding. And because of the misunderstanding of that realm, because of the misunderstanding of how the realm operates, people begin to see frustrating prayers. But today, we are going to talk about the realm of the spirit. Satan only fights us, but the devil is not fighting God. Because the Bible says, Woe to he that fighteth with his maker. There is no individual who will be able to stand to fight God. Neither human being nor devil. No one can fight God. So the devil is not disobeying God. Satan is not fighting God. But Satan makes sure that every word of God said that he pushed men to sin against God by violating the word of God, by disobeying what God said, by refusing to do what God commanded him to do. So that is the only area Satan fights us. But the devil is not fighting God. That is number one thing I want us to establish today. Number two, do Satan have the power to, to, to hinder your prayers? The answer is yes and the also no. Because yes side is that when you are not born again, when you are a sinner, Satan have right to hinder your prayers. Satan have right to frustrate your life, frustrate your prayer. Even when a sinner is praying and asking God for favor, asking God and sowing seed and doing fasting, the only prayer a sinner can pray is a prayer of repentance. Apart from repentance prayer, a sinner has nothing to pray. He has nothing to ask God. So when a sinner pray, when someone that is not yet born again pray, Satan will frustrate his prayer and Satan will hinder his prayer. Why I say no? A child of God, every born again child of God, Satan have no access to frustrate his prayer. They will have no access to hinder his prayer because his prayer is genuine. His prayer carry power. His prayer is backed up in the name of the Lord and the, with the blood of Jesus. Because when the child of God pray, his prayer ascending to heaven, the name of the Lord will accompany the prayer and the, the blood of Jesus will also follow the prayer. Back up with the word of God that child of God used to pray. These are the three forces that back up the prayer of a child of God. Anytime a child of God will pray, his prayer going up to heaven, it will be backed up with the word of God, it will be backed up with the name of Jesus and backed up with the blood of Jesus Christ. So Satan cannot hinder the prayer. 
But I want you to know that the spiritual realm, there is nothing like Satan is fighting God or angels of God fighting the demons. No, they are not fighting. Because that realm, there is a perfect understanding in that realm. There is a perfect obedience in that realm. Even Satan obeys. Angels, they know their right. Satan knows his right. So now there is no conflict in that realm. Everybody obeys the word of God. Everybody obeys the way God said the rule. For instance, you will see in a bus, a native doctor will enter bus accompanied by demons. Demons will accompany that native doctor in that bus. You will also see a child of God in the same bus accompanied with the angels of God. And in the same bus, demon and the angels, they will be in the same bus. They, didn't, they, will, they will not fight. So all these things that are saying Satan is fighting or angels of God fighting the demonic power, demonic realm, is not true. Because any choice we make, any choice we human beings make, God cannot change it, neither will devil change it. Have you ever seen a man that plants a corn, Satan turn that corn and make it to become granite? It's not possible. Or have you ever seen a man that plant the same corn and the God say, okay, this is my child. Let me make the corn to be a tuba of him. No, it's not possible. So now, I, uh, God is the one. God is the one multiplying and increasing our, our harvest based on the nature of the seed we sow. Bible said, do not be deceived, for God cannot be mocked. For whatsoever a man sow, he shall reap. So anything we sow, whether good or bad, God's work is to make sure that he, he multiply, he germinate and multiply and bear fruit. And on the day of harvest, we will have a lot to harvest. If it is good, we will have a lot of blessing. If it is bad, we have a lot of problem or cause. So that is the area God operates. And even Satan can never change any seed you sow. No, he never changed any seed you sow. The only thing the devil will do is to make sure that he push you to sow wrong seed. So that on the day of harvest, Knowing fully well that God multiplies every seed we sow, that God will multiply that bad seed, that bad seed we sow, that it will generate bad harvest for us on the day of harvest. So Satan will push men to go and sow the bad seed. And God will make the seed to bear fruit and germinate and, and multiply and have a bountiful harvest of sorrow and diseases and misery. So that is what I want us to understand. Every word of God has two areas. It has two sides. It has the side of blessing, has the side of cause. Every word of God, every word of God in the scripture, it has the good side and the bad side together. That is why the Bible says that the word of God is like a two-edged sword. It's like a two-edged sword. It has good side and it has bad side. Somebody may not understand this, but I will explain it to you. Do you know that every word of God you see, any, any word of God you come encounter with, have the promise, have the blessing attached to it if you obey it, and have cause or consequences if you violate it. The same word of God. So some people, when they go to Bible, they see what God said, they see the promises of God, they just claim the promises. They, for, they don't understand that it is only when they do what the word said. Because when they violate what the word said, there is a consequence, there is another area of that word. So the same word is generating good to some people and generating bad to other people. The same word is generating blessing to some people and generating cause to some people. The same, the same word is generating sorrow to some people and generating joy to some people. So people keep on violating the laws of God. In the realm of the spirit, whatsoever you choose right now, God cannot change it. I tell us that in the realm of the spirit, when you obey the word of God, in that realm there are two groups. There are two groups in the realm of the spirit, the group of light and the group of darkness, the group of king, God's kingdom and the group of satanic kingdom, the group of blessing and the group of cause, the group of joy and the group of sorrow. So any word of God you keep, if you obey the word of God, you will be keeping the area of light, the group of light, the group of God's kingdom, the group of God's children, the group of, the group of blessing. So if you also violate the word of God and disobey what God said, you will be classified to the group of darkness where Satan has power over you. And this is why many people say, oh, despite the fasting I, I engage on, despite my seed, despite my fasting and my prayer, why all these things happening to me? It's not supposed to happen to me. 
because they did not understand that going to church alone and fasting and praying will not make them to come out of that group that they have been classified because they choose to be disobeying and violating the laws of God. They are violating the laws of God. And that is something that we must understand that the, the, the spirit realm of praise according to choice we make based on the word of God we keep based on the word of God we keep based on the word of God we keep and the word of God we violate sometimes they normally say oh Satan don't want you to prosper devil don't want you to prosper devil don't want you to succeed no there is nothing like that there is nothing like that it is the choice of that individual because God is so powerful that whenever a man obeys him, he will see God. Satan cannot stop God from working for you. Devil cannot stop God from blessing you. It is the one you choose, but devil will push you. Devil will push you to sin against God so that the same God that's supposed to bless you will, 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 will be your enemy. The same God that's supposed to bless you will be fighting you. That is the, how the realm of the spirit operates. You oppress in obedience. You oppress in obedience. No conflict between demons and angels of God. No conflict between God and Satan. All of them, they pass freely. They pass freely. They may not greet each other, but they pass freely. Because they have their own children. They monitor their children. They take good care of their children. If it is God, God will take good care of you. If you are among God's children, God will take good care of you. If you are among Satan's children, Satan will also, you can know the kind of way he will take care of you with sorrow and, 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 and destruction and frustrations and misery of life. That is why this word of God is coming to you. Share this message to many people. Let us save life. And don't forget to drop your comment, like this message, and also drop your suggestion too. God bless you. We shall see you next time.